Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. This is Sovereign Saturday, so let's get into it. Maintain who you are. Maintain who you are. I'm gonna tell you what, one of the things about being sovereign is not so much, I'm well, definitely controlling your environment and everything. Um, definitely controlling your environment, but it's more to it than just that. It's being true to yourself and maintaining who you are, the person that you are. Now, of course, my main message is always become the best version, but that's the best version of you. Not the best, not that other person. Like, there's been many times when someone has say, oh yeah, I'm gonna walk like Rom or talk like Rom or how can I do it? Like, it's like, no, that's not you. You gotta be comfortable with who you are. Ultimately, I don't care what works for someone else. If that's not you to walk a certain way, don't do that. Now, in general, I say, you know, you still want to walk with your head up and everything. But, you know, for whatever reason, you might have a different style of doing it. You might have a certain way you're going to do something. That's who you are. Like I use an example for myself. Now people have always saying something about my walk, but remember I was doing those videos where, you know, I'm walking across the parking lot like I'm gonna hurt somebody. But then they had some people trying to say, well, you should be swinging your arm or No, no, who the fuck you gonna tell me? I'm gonna walk the way I wanna walk. What the fuck you gonna do about it? Because that's who I am, or at least in that thing. I'm gonna walk the way I want. I don't follow the next person. See, if you if you sovereign, that means you're a leader of yourself. And you got to be good with that because the reality is people are always going to try to tell you what you should be doing. And first of all, if they use the word should, that's when you should be like, boom. All I'm saying is if you're going to be sovereign, that's your world. That's how you want to do. That's your personality. If you, hey, if you naturally introverted, don't work to be extroverted. Seriously, you can be quiet if that's who you are. That's who you are, because who you are is related to whatever your mission is in life. You know, everybody don't need to be gregarious. And then if you gregarious and people say, well, maybe you should be quiet more. That's not who you are. Now, if you do change some stuff about you, it has to be organic and within you anyway. Like say you gregarious, but then you got times you can be introverted. Now, technically that make you an ambivert and maybe that's part of you. But don't try to fake it. See, to me, people trying to fake something, you know, because like even um, in, on these, in these spaces, people say, well, you got to do this to be dominant. You got to have this frame. You got to do that, you know. But what if it's in you to do that? Like, you know, I've seen some stuff Well, men shouldn't smile a lot, but I've known some men who smiled and they were winning with women. And then I knew some other men, they ain't smile as much, but they were winning with women and then just getting through life. See, the thing is, it comes down to who you are. You gotta have integrity. Because once you stop being who you are, you becoming who somebody else is. And unfortunately, you got so many people out here, so many men, they so busy following the crowd, they don't have their own thing. They don't have their own style. They don't have their own what they, what they uh, wear. Like, yeah, you know, I do these videos, I do them in polos and stuff. Now, it ain't even so much about the horse, to be honest. My style is something functional. I don't like buying new shirts all the time. See, I wear, I just wear good, good quality stuff. Now, if it didn't have it this on here, I still wear it because it's the quality. But that's my style, you know? That's my style. I'm not going to wear what somebody else wear just because everybody else wearing it. Because, see, a lot of people do that. And see, when a man does that, he's no longer sovereign. How is he sovereign? He's following someone. He's not living according to his will. He's living according to somebody else's will. That's why you got some men that can change everything they do every year, depending on the style. In fact, you have several forces in society, particularly economic forces, want you to do that. They want you to change it. They want you to wear certain shoes. They want you to wear certain shirts because they making money off of it. But any man, any man, he say, look, no, nah, this is my signature. This is what I want. Only thing I would say to that is, hey, make sure it looks nice on you. And you good with it. Because that's a part of the thing. Let me talk about the style thing. Part of the style ain't even so much what you wear. 
how you, what type of a vibe you give off wearing it. You could wear, shoot, you could wear like a plain t-shirt, plain pants, plain shoes, but you so confident and you so comfortable at work. And then again, you get some people, they can wear, they can wear the latest thing, the stylish things and everything. It don't work because it's not really who they are. That's the key thing, you know, maintain who you are, stand for your beliefs. If this is what you believe, Stand on it. Don't don't just follow somebody else's. Don't go along to get along. You know, and you can be respectful by saying, no, nah, that's not my style or that's not what I'm into. Because I give you I give you an example with me. A lot of people want me to be want me to talk about some stuff. I'm like, I don't talk about that. That's not me. That's not me. And I've told people, I've told people, I said, look, no, I only talk about stuff that fits my agenda. I've lost people off of Patreon. I've lost people off my Patreon because they want me to do something that has nothing to do with my agenda. That's not who I am. You know, I'm not going to care about stuff just because everybody else care about it. I care about what I care about. You know, I look at what I want to look at. I do the things I want to do. Every single man got to be that way. That's who you are and maintain it. Stay strong in that. Because the second you not being yourself, you're not sovereign. You're just a follower. You're a part of the herd. You with everybody else. Seriously. You know? Like I use a, I knew use another example. I use another example. Shout out Darnell, he know who he is. Look, I don't have any tattoos. But you got people saying, hey, you got to get a tattoo. You're telling other people, you got to get a tattoo to be sexy. And I was like, nah. <laughs> what the fuck I'm going to do that for? If, if you're a young man, you don't want to tat up your body, don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. Don't do it because you think, oh, well, the women like tattoos. Yeah, some do, but some don't. <laughs> Seriously, some, some don't care, you know? Some some will love it. Some some of them will say, hey, you gotta have a tattoo for me. Okay, for her. Well, I'll say, damn, you had a fat ass too. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Cause then the next one will be like, oh, you got a tattoo. Ooh. That'd be the one you like too. Cause I use myself. I was thinking about getting a tattoos before everybody else did. It's the second everybody else started getting it. I was like, man, fuck that. I can't, I can't get one now. And this ain't against tattoos, but this is a personal thing. And just real quick, I tell people, my scars are my tattoos. <laughs> my scars, where I got cut, uh, where I got cut, where I bruised myself, those are my tattoos. I'm good with that. You know? I'm good with that. That's all I need. <laughs> but that's me. It might not be you, because then you might be somebody who loves the art and everything. Okay, cool. But if you do it, do it for yourself. Don't do it for everybody else. No what? Even body game. You know, I talk about lifting weights and stuff, but you might say, well, you know what? I just want to do body exercises. That's you. That's cool. I just want to go walking. Okay, that's you. That's cool. I don't want to do it at all. You know what? As long as you're sincere about it, I'm good with that. I ain't going to force you, you know? Only thing with that, I said, okay, if you don't want to do that, just respect that somebody else does. That's all I ask. Usually when I go against any body game detractors, ain't even so much they don't want to do it. Shoot, I got some, I got a dear brother one here. He, he tell me straight up in the comments he ain't doing it. And I respect him because he don't say anything about it, though. And I'm good with that, you know? And just respect how, you know, that's a part of it too. Just respect how somebody else want to roll as long as that shit don't interfere directly with your life. If they doing something and it's interfering with your life, okay, you might say something. If they want to pick on you or something, okay, you got to do something. But if it's not bothering you, psh, please. But your key for all of this is maintain who you are. That's who you are. That's how you do. You ain't following the crowd. You're going to you want to you want to live the way that you want as long as it's not interfering with someone else's life. And when I say life, like their life, not their opinion, everybody always going to have some opinion or what they think you should do It's like, please. I'll be looking at them like, you don't know, finance feed me, do anything for me. What the fuck? You don't like something I'm doing? Stay the fuck away. That's what I'll say. Shit. I'll say that to anybody who don't like anything I talk about on this channel. 
If you don't like it, don't watch. I ain't holding a gun to your head. Shoot, I block con I block content creators and you had no idea. Just be if that if I saw this stuff in my feed and I didn't like it, I would just go find a button and say, don't show me this. I will block it. And I have no problems. I don't say nothing to them. I just say I don't want to see. So nobody's forcing you. Maintain with you who you are. Alright? So anyway, that's all I have for the day. Maintain who you are. You're gonna be sovereign. Hey, you got to you got to stand strong in who you are and how you do things. You know, the most someone else can do, they can they can like talk about something else. But at the end of the day, you have to decide. So that's all I have for today. Get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.